Hey guys, this is Sonic Select, and this is my story about how I got into the Sonic franchise. So, let's just start from the beginning here. We all tend to find distractions and things that interest them, and mine I just found in the Sonic fandom. At age 11, maybe, you could have asked me who Sonic the Hedgehog was, and I could not answer you. But that would all change during 2020, because as most people know, that's the year that the Sonic movie came out. Being new, it popped up on an ad on Roku for me, on my TV, because I was bored, like everyone else. And I saw it and I thought, huh, that looks okay. So I watched the movie, then I watched it again, then I watched it like seven more times. I was in awe because I don't remember the last time that I experienced a movie that I loved so much that I would be glad to watch it again. No other characters had interested me more than this, so naturally I researched it. Not sure what I expected to see, but it definitely was not the biggest fandom that I've ever seen. As the following time passed, I learned more and more about the stories and adventures that were to be told in this amazing franchise. One day, just scrolling through YouTube, I saw an unfamiliar form of Sonic art, I guess you could say? So at the time, I had not heard of Gotcha, so this was all new to me. Now, the certain video that I clicked on, though, was by some random person named Infinity X Films. So I click on the video and I was amazed. The animation, the story, it was all stunning. I thought, huh, I could make up a bunch of stories about these characters and share them with you guys. I then checked the description and I got the apps listed, which were CapCut, Gotcha Club, and A Light Motion, but normally I only use CapCut. Soon enough, I got into these gotcha videos, and I saw how I could recreate the characters and make my own animation. A bit later, my search history led me to getting a bunch of gotcha videos, STH related or not. A popular video reoccurring was called a reaction. Let's just say, if I didn't see that, my channel would be, uh, kinda empty. I was so inspired by all of these videos that I just had to try it out for myself. Anyways, for those of you watching that have been here since day one, December 11th of 2022, my first video was my attempt for a reaction. If you haven't seen it, I wouldn't go back there, it's a scary place. And I won't delete it because I want to show you guys how much that I've improved, hopefully. But it did jumpstart me to being where I am today. Along the way, I've met some absolutely amazing people, some of which are now my closest online friends. I think it's great that we can find and connect to people with similar interests to us, especially if we don't have those kind of people in real life. For anyone watching that needs this, never stop trying for anyone. You can always find a group or a hobby or just something that motivates you to keep going. And I'd love for everyone to get that chance. Thank you to everyone for all the support and huge shout out to all of my besties for just being awesome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.